One of my great friends uh, uh, in life was Tom Murphy, the playwright. We knew each other for decades and we had a, a very interesting and shared experience of emigration. And Tom often spoke to me about the writing of the plays and very particularly my son, John Peter, would go on to write about the violence in the early plays of, of, of Tom Murphy. But Tom and I uh, spent a great deal of time together and it was a friendship that continued right up to his death, even when he was, uh, even when he was very ill. And uh, I wrote uh, this poem, uh, The Storyteller, to, um, if you like, describe uh, the role, the importance of the playwright. I, I, I was interested in the Greek sense of the difference between the mon monologue, the dialogue, the, the chorus, but very particularly how the public are gripped by a poem. I think, as I have said, that Mark Patrick Edelman writing about Eliot's view of this is that there is something in the poem that is beyond uh, both rationality and also where the words are insufficient. And there's in a sense when you suddenly, the peop something new has happened that is transcendent but shared. And uh, this poem uh, is, is called the, the, the Storyteller. The Storyteller for Tom Murphy. That first man who stood on a stone did not grope his way through the forest of coy images. He allowed no requirements of resonance to delay his shout of wonder. It was passion that pushed him past the cowed group of the curious, beaten into expectation of necessary ritual. And when he gripped them with his silence as they felt a tremor and the stir of blood, a jet of urine, all made bearable with a long sigh. The coming out and going in of the story followed no rules written by clocks. There were no preparatory flourishes for what was wonderful. From that moment they knew the origin of magic and the word from a man who took the risk defied the rules and standing on a stone, made a story. They said, unlike the seers, he was like God, but made them all divine.